Hey there, Assassins. We're ending the Taco Tuesday trifecta with Assassin's Creed Origins. We have Anubis as our normal mode god. We also have Sekhmet as our hard mode god. I'm going to show you the strategies and what you need, the setups. And then afterwards, we're going to go and take a trip and visit Retta, who was alive a thousand plus years prior to the events of Valhalla. So, let's get this started. I'm Darkshot of the YouTube Assassin. Let's get into this as soon as we get out of conflict. So as I said, we have Anubis once again as our normal mode god. Now, What's going on here, normal mode, means that you can start these god battles when you are level 40. If you're level 40, he will also be level 40. And anywhere all the way up to level 55, he will be your exact same level. Which means that, depending on your setup, your gear, your skill, that's how difficult he'll be. Of course, we're always going to try to aim for that bubble in the center of his chest. And we're going to avoid all these hazards that he throws out. On top of which, you'll notice that every time we get to about 75, 50, and 25% health, he's going to drop a couple of his minions. Now, when you get to about 25%, his minions take the form of actual jackals. So, it's really not going to be that hard. And once you see that he's got the jackals out there, you're going to notice that you're already on the home stretch. So just basically avoid what he's got going on and make sure you aim for that bubble in his chest. Also, make sure, especially with the bone cages that he throws up, that you're always paying attention to who's where because sometimes with those bone cages, it's really easy for somebody to hide around the corner and you won't see where they're at. It becomes a problem, especially since all his minions are actually tethered to him and that tether basically is his lifeline as well so as long as you're taking out those tethers you're also taking him out he becomes weaker i don't know what was going on with this guy for some reason he was really really tough this time around normally he's not which is kind of crazy so here we are we're close to 25 percent and we are about to take out the rest of his crew. All it is is a couple of uh, jackals. You got to really make sure that you get them all as well. You don't want any problems like as far as them disappearing or hiding behind corners. If you don't see the bubble pop back on his chest, you know for a fact that he's not done. He's got a couple of people hiding there. So you definitely want to go and check out what's going on. Once you get him like fairly down low, then he'll just die as you can see we didn't even finish off his health his health just out of nowhere it just started dropping so here we are for winning we get a thousand xp 250 drachma and for me i get an extra thousand xp because i already got the item for defeating the god so rather than give me a dual piece or a second piece they just give me an extra thousand xp now, next, we go to Sekhmet, and Sekhmet is going to be our hard mode god. What that means is that whatever level you are, Sekhmet is going to be three levels higher. So if you're level 50, Sekhmet's going to be level 53. I'm level 58 or 55, so Sekhmet's going to be level 58. So now, we're going to have to take Sekhmet out. I don't know why Anubis was so tough and she was so easy so what we want in these setups is that we want any weapons that will basically eat away at life of these gods now you don't have to worry about any armor or anything like that because in this game they really didn't make a lot with the armor they more focused on shields but as far as arrows and swords go the items that I have actually take away life as you're swatting at people. So every time I kill somebody or I do a critical attack 
Wow, that missed critically. Anyway, I do a critical attack, and it'll steal health from any of my enemies, which makes it a lot easier for me to survive. The other thing is that when I'm shooting arrows at the bubble on Sekhmet's chest, I'm actually stealing life if it's a critical hit, which is very, very useful. Now, I got these items from the gods themselves. If you don't have those items, don't sweat. Try to find something that either has a poison on hit or a bleeding on hit. Anything with damage over time. As long as you've got a decent DOT, you'll be able to really, really just finesse them. You'll be able to take them out real quick. The other thing that you want to do, as you just saw, make sure that the minions actually get hit by all those hazards. And you'll be on your way to surviving. It'll just be a lot easier. So now, we beat this god. This is another 1000 XP, 250 drachma, and another 1000 XP for me because I already have the gear for this set. It should be a little bit more because it's actually a hard mode god. I would have accepted like 1500. Anyway, we'll go and visit Retta. What happens is that in every major town, you'll find Retta and his Nomad's Bazaar. And what he has is the ability to sell you items. Only two. He'll either sell you the carbon crystals. Again, I suggest you don't spend money on this. You can find tons of them in the world. I actually did a video on that real easy. Or you could get Hecka Chests for 3,000 of the Drachma. As you can see, this time I got a legendary. This spear I think I already have. In this game, you could get duplicates of the legendaries. So, I mean, you just have to deal with that. You could sell them off anyway and make yourself a bunch of sweet money. And either try another Hecka Chest or just save it for something else. Anyway, every day at, I'm going to say, around 8 p.m. Eastern. I don't know what that would be for everyone else. But 8 p.m. Eastern, he will give you a brand new daily quest. So all you have to do is go up to him, get your quest, and then fulfill whatever he's asking you to do. Right now, it's control nuisance, which means that we have to go and attack an animal, which is kind of far, but we'll get over there and take him out. And this animal over here, this time it's a lion. It looks like it's one. I don't have to deal with that one there. Normally, sometimes you get close and it'll expand to like a couple, but it was just that one there. We'll defeat this lion, and then that's all there was to it. We killed them both. We could go visit Retta again. You don't have to visit Retta in the same spot. You could visit Retta in any other town, whatever's closer. There you go. We'll talk to him. We get 1,500 XP, which is the end of the completion there. And then he gives us a Hecka chest. This time I got an epic. Epics in this game weren't as good as the uh, legendaries. Legendaries was always, always, always better. And you really wanted the legendaries. But as you can see, I'm going to show you, I've got a duplicate legendary. That uh, spear that we just got. Here, we'll sell this one off. He's, he's pretty useful having all that stuff. And there it is. There's a duplicate spear, so we'll sell that. So... That's all there is to this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, by all means, like and subscribe. It helps this channel out an awful lot. Until next time, take care, stay safe, be good, take care of each other. I want to thank you all for watching. And we're going to end this, like we always do, on a Ya Yeet. I'll see you guys in the next one. Ya Yeet!